In this video, we will see how to deploy Xenomer in your OpenSense firewall and then I'll also install it on Ubuntu Cell. You can get started by simply clicking on Xenomer here in the step-by-step -step guide. You can click here to get started and click on sign up. So with sign up, you can simply fill the form. So I'll be registering it, for example. So I'm already registered now. I'll be simply going to sunnyvalley.cloud and click on continue. And here you are. This is your Zen console and you can see all the informations are available here. Your billing information, your subscription information, your account information on all of this. On dashboard, you will be able to see the details here. If you click here on firewalls, my firewall, you won't see any firewalls which are available here right now you can see no project is available so to get started first of all i'll open my home lab next generation firewalls and open sense enter with my user id and password and if you go here to systems and firmware and here you can see the plugins either you can look for sunny valley or you can type xenomer here vendor repository for xenomer install this was only the vendor repository which we have installed and these are all other plugins uh, like uh, next generation firewall extension and then Xenomer connectivity agent and then the updater. So these all plugins needs to be installed. So I'll be installing these all plugins here. You can see here all the plugins related to Sunny Valley or Xenomer are installed now. You can see here Xenomer is available here now. I'll simply click on Xenomer and dashboard, read the agreement and check this, proceed with it. So it is fine. We'll just continue, go to next. And now it will give you the option to install the reporting database. You can have the local MongoDB database or remote Elasticsearch database. Or I'll not be using more than 100 devices. So I'll be using this local SQLite database. Install the database and proceed. Whether you want to have only for the reporting purposes or you want to have layer 3 mode, which is reporting and blocking, or you want to have the bridge mode L2. So I'll not be using bridge mode. I'll be using the routed mode because this particular OpenSense is already installed as a, a firewall. So my all users are connected using OpenSense. So I don't need to put this in the bridge mode. And I have already explained you bridge mode, uh, which is experimental right now, but it works great. I'll be using this a second option. These are all the interfaces which are available. So LAN interface, I want to protect it. Now you can see here, it asks me that how many, what is your deployment so size? So I'll be deploying this on uh, home users. Or you can use the free edition also. Before I proceed further, you must be having a concern that how much does it cost to start using Xenomer as an extension to open source firewall. Of course, you can get started for free. And if you go down here, so these are all free forever. In a free edition for open source platform, you can have network analytics, real-time thread blocking, application control, web filtering, cloud management, and community forum support. This all is freely available forever. Uh, their plans are available like for home users, for small office, home office, and for business. A uh, plan depends upon the number of devices that you have on your network. So if you see uh, 50 devices, 100 devices, and whatever devices you have. So up to 25 devices, you can have protection for your home or for small office, home office. So all the features which are available here in these plans. So uh, four plans are there. Of course, paid plans are free, but including free plan, these are four plans. In Free plan, you can have visibility on entire network. You can have the real-time reporting and logging. You can drill down advanced network analytics and then for more than 60 predefined reports are available there, which will give you the application visibility, which will also help you to have the web DNS TLS reporting. Protection is already covered, like uh, all ports are blocked, uh, all users and devices are protected, auto blocking based on the real-time threat intelligence, this is blocked the malicious server uh, filtering and fish server filtering. Uh, all of these features are available for free and filtering and compliance is available for free. And then you see policy based filtering is not available. You will have only default policy which will be applied across all the users. So you cannot custom the policy in the free plans, but in the paid plans, you will be able to have your custom policy or for example, you have multiple departments or multiple user groups. So you can have the policies based on the user groups. So high availability is available in all the plans, including free plan and integration with the external Elasticsearch server is available on the plans. 
including free plans and then community support of course is available so this was all about it let me now take you back to the installation now you can see you have successfully completed installing Xenomer. You need to refresh this page. I'll refresh this page. Now let me go here. You can see here the dashboard. Dashboard will show you reports from different sections. Reports are divided into various tabs like uh, connection, threads, blocks, webs, DNS, and TLS. In connection, you will be able to see all the breakdown of your connections that how your applications or devices are connected to external hosts or how your external hosts are connected to your local devices. You can see here, these are the IP addresses. These are the network devices which are connected right now. You can drill down again here. You can see the map here. And right now, the heat map that to which servers, to which devices, to which networks right now my devices are connected to. And here you can see the table of applications, which type of applications are being using web browsing, OpenStreetMap, CloudFront, and policies. So you can define your policies right now, default policies here, and you can add a new policy depending upon, for example, it's this policy will be enforced on these particular days. We want to block malware activity, block phishing server, block spam sites, block hacking sites. So this is all the essential policy that I want to apply here. And app control also, you can see here that uh, these apps are being monitored. And web controls, these are all the web categories which are filtered. Now, if you see here cloud management portal, right now I have not registered uh, link to the cloud uh, management portal. In case you want to access it and you want to manage this from cloud in Zen Cloud Firewalls, so you will simply go here and enable the cloud management. Once you enable the cloud management, you will be able to register to the cloud management portal. Once I log in, Zenomer has been connected to my account. You can see here now my cloud server is running so I can name it my home lab. So here is my home lab firewall. So I'll name it home lab firewall, add firewall. All the reports which are available, even the server statistics is also here. You can see here disk space and then memory utilization. So today Zenomer has detected zero and blocked zero potential harmful activities according to your rules. Now I'll show you how I can also monitor, start monitoring my existing Linux server. Right now you can see here only one project is available here. So I'll be adding it to my Linux server also. So here you can see here get started for free. If I click here, it will show you how you can do the installation. In OpenSense, it is very simple. In case of FreeBSD or PFSense or Red Hat, I'll be going to Ubuntu server here. I'll be installing this particular package on Ubuntu. So copy this command here and with sudo command, I'll just install this enter you can see here it is already installed now the next step is to copy this command which will register my extension to zen console so copy this command from here and paste it on ssh of course with the sudo command and now done so now portal uh, cloud portal email which is and then the password here is the password that I have entered and here sending the registration request. Authentication token has been stored and uh, registration to the cloud portal is successful. Once I refresh my uh, firewall page here, so we'll be able to see that the second node has started appearing here and I can give its name Ubuntu server. So we'll be using SQL Lite. I'll be using this for reporting only right now because I just want to monitor what is happening. And now this was very simple to configure on OpenSense and then on Ubuntu server. So your policies can be real time synchronized to firewall. Now I don't need to, of course, go to my local firewall to apply the policies. I can simply go through Zen console, create a policy and apply that policy to the firewall. So depending upon your needs and requirements, you can simply configure those firewalls. So I'm using Oracle cloud infrastructure and this is my server in one of the Oracle cloud infrastructure structure but i'm using arm processor for this and this particular architecture is not supported let me try to install this this is already using ubuntu server and if i try to install on this server it will not install because right now it is not supported so i'll simply exit this then console is helping me to deploy the policies monitor the network traffic everything what is happening on my network from anywhere in the world if you have any feedback related to this video or related to xenomer series or if you want me to cover anything specific to xenomer Please give me your feedback in the comment section below. If this video has helped you to understand Zenomer in depth, don't forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.